Hey guys, this is Steven with 9to5Google. Today, we're taking a look at Google Keep for iOS. The first thing you need to know about Keep for iOS is that it's almost an exact replica of its Android counterpart. So, if you're familiar with the Android app, or the web app for that matter, you're going to have no problem with everything going on here. This is interesting, actually, because Google's iOS apps are often slightly modified adaptations of their respective Android versions. They're not usually almost literal carbon copies like this one. Many of Google's iOS apps, Hangouts until recently, and some would argue even still today, have been far better than their Android versions. I know, it doesn't make any sense. With that out of the way, let's dig in a little bit and look at some of the app's features. If you're familiar with Keep in any capacity, however, you already know everything there is to know about Keep for iOS. The app gives you a list here of all your different notes where you can toggle between a couple different views, and you have quick access to creating different kinds of notes at the bottom. Tapping the main text box is going to create a new text note, and from there you can label it with a color, share it with friends, add photos, categorize it, and set up reminders. You can also create notes with your voice, and these will not only transcribe into a text note, but you'll also find that an actual audio clip of what you said can be played back at any time. This is pretty handy, especially if you need to record a longer note that Google might not pick up entirely correctly. You can create other types of notes as well, like lists and photo notes, and of course all the other functionality like labeling and the like will work with these too. Moving on, the app has a nice hamburger menu that slides out from the left side, giving you quick access to other Google accounts, as well as the reminders you have set up, the notes you've categorized with labels, and those that you've deleted. And that's pretty much it. It's a nice, robust experience, and if you're already invested heavily in Google services like I am, it's definitely a more than worthy competitor to the iOS Notes app. Thanks for watching. This has been Steven with 9to5Google. You can find my Twitter handle below, and I'll catch you in the next one.